In this video, we will demonstrate the use of the Scheduling Assistant in Service CEO's Web Edition. The Scheduling Assistant is a great tool to help figure out the best time to schedule a work order based on other work orders that are scheduled in that same area. The Scheduling Assistant allows you to essentially schedule jobs based on proximity to reduce your windshield and your drive time and bring in more billable hours in the day. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and build a brand new job. To do so, we'll hit Common Actions, Add Job. We will choose a customer from the list. Uh, for this example, Andy Pettit at 126 Fellsway West. Select him. We'll just put Test as a summary on here and then come over to the work order. Now, you could certainly schedule the work order manually by clicking into the start date and actually picking a date on here. However, we're going to use a scheduling assistant for this. We need to first save the work order so that we can access the scheduling assistant. Now when we click the scheduling assistant link, the system will pop up a map with a list of work orders down the left. It's very important to overview the filters and your different filter options in this scheduling assistant, so let's talk about those first. The first filter here is the employees or teams filter. I can choose to show all employees or a particular employee or a team. For example, if I only wanted to see the install team here, I can choose the install team. I need to hit refresh every time we change our filter criteria, but this is showing me a list of every job that's assigned to the install team after today. The second filter is based on location. The filter options in here are really going to be limited to you know, the area and the actual address of this customer. So the job that we're trying to schedule is in Medford, Massachusetts, and the zip code is 02155. So I have the ability to do filters to say, only show me work orders in this zip code, or only show me work orders in the city of Medford, or in the state of Massachusetts, for example. We'll keep this on any location for now. The next filter is the date range you're looking at. Um, some of the more commonly used ones will be today, tomorrow, next week, this month. After today, we'll show you everything after today's calendar date. Let's bring this down to the this week for this example. It happens to be the exact same list. Great. So now we've set up this list to say only show us work orders that the install team is assigned to anywhere during this calendar week here. So now when we look at our map, the red pin drop, this is the location of the work order we're trying to schedule. This was Andy Pettit's actual location. Each of the black pin drops is a work order that's currently scheduled in the system. I can click onto this. It will show me which of these work orders it is on the left here. I can click the actual work order link here to give me my pop-up on the work order itself. I can also click Show Availability down here. What Show Availability is going to do is going to give us a little mini pop-up window of that team's schedule for the particular day that this work order is assigned to. So you can see here, they're scheduled to be there between 8 and 11, but there's nothing else on their calendar in this particular day. Because of that, we're going to go ahead and schedule this work order to this team after this job here. So I have this job selected, and I will click Schedule After. Now this gives me some options. The first thing to notice is that ServiceEO is going to calculate the drive time between the two locations, and it will round that up to either uh, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15, 30, or 60 minutes to do the actual start time. So this means it's 12 minutes going to round up to the next five minute increments and schedule this work order 15 minutes after the conclusion of the last one. If there were other resources who were on the other job, they would be listed here and you could choose to add or remove uh, the different teams or employees that are on here. You can also choose to add the driving directions to the work order notes. So if I'll check that and then hit schedule work order, what you'll see is that service CEO has now scheduled this work order 15 minutes after the conclusion of the last one. And if we come down here to the notes, we now have all of our driving directions in the notes 
So when the employees print out their route sheets or their work orders, they'll also have directions. Finally, just to show you on the dispatch board, we'll come back to the dispatch board and move forward to the 28th. And you can see here that the job for Andy Pettit has been scheduled 15 minutes after the job for Copper Creeks. Keep in mind this has no duration because I never set a duration on the job as I should have during the work order. So I can always just drag this work order out to block off a particular amount of time. This concludes the training video on the scheduling assistant in Service CEO. Please contact uh, technical support, your customer success manager, or your sales representative with any questions or for any help on it.